creative time with Emma again. This is my second video of the day. Can you believe I did two videos in one day? Well, the reason why I did a number two video is because I felt bad because I, I had a few deadlines I had to meet last week and I wasn't able to do a Friday tip of the day. So this is your Monday quote unquote tip of the day. So for this one, I'm going to be using this cool Halloween cartridge and I'm going to be using this little adorable witch right there. And this is the um, what's this one called? Chic and Scary, and this is another Teresa Collins cool cartridge. What an awesome little um, gem this is, I must say. So, anyways, what we are going to be using, we are going to be using some vinyl. And let me just tell you my tip. Another one of the actual tip for this video is to use vinyl that is repos. The one I got. It's from a place called Wally's, and it's a chalkboard vinyl, and I showed it to you how I made the little chalkboard on my wall, just for stuff that I won't forget. Um, so basically, you don't have to use transfer tape with it. That is the best, best thing ever with this vinyl, okay? So basically, I have my, I'm going to show it to you, I just have a little piece here on my, um, it's like an eight by eight piece I already have on my mat. And here goes my um, E2. And the cool part about it is like when you, we're gonna go ahead and just load it. I have her right there. And I think she's five, she's, um, let me see what she sized at really quick because I don't know it offhand. I forgot actually. Well, when I put in the cartridge, it just automatically just made a size up for me and I thought it was perfect. It's actually five inches, okay? So now we're just going to go ahead and go back to the mat, and we're going to go, again, click that button. And then I'm just going to go ahead and load my mat. And then we're going to click on Cut. Now, this is the awesome thing about these E2s. Um, what you're going to do is click on this right here, and then if you go down, it's going to give you the vinyl kiss cut right there. So it automatically does all of your your pressure, speed, and all of that good stuff for you, okay? So we're going to go ahead and just click on cut. Oops. And we'll click on it again. And then once again. And then that is going to cut our image out. And while that's cutting, I'm going to show you really quickly the actual stuff I'm talking about. Okay, basically, this is it called, this is it right here. It's Wally, see right there? You could get it at wallys.com, and it's the chalkboard removable and repositional. And it's awesome because... See, I made a little, I made something similar like that for my room, but it wasn't that dramatic. But this is a pretty good sized piece. It's a 25 by 38 inch, and it even has chalk included, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, what really made me never want to cut vinyl was just all of that extra work, and I, my time is very limited. Not that I'm like all that or anything, but it's like. It's like I really have to use my time very wisely and it seemed like if I started doing something with that transfer tape that would have just taken a little bit longer than I would want to have spent on a project. So when I came across this stuff, the best thing ever. So as soon as this finishes cutting, I'm going to go ahead and quickly show it to you, okay? Okay, here it goes right here. I almost started taking it off before I turned the camera on. So what I just did was I just went ahead and I just lifted it up here. And it's basically it's just coming up as like one big sticker. That's why I totally fell in love with this. So how cool is that? Okay, let me... I just want to make sure you don't tear it. There's like a little piece there where the broom is. I don't want to ruin the feature on the broom. Oops, you probably didn't even see that in the camera. Sorry about that. See, and there she goes right there. And I'm going to actually save this because this is a good piece. I could definitely use that again. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and just take out the 
center of this right here. Let me get a little needle here. All right, I'm just going to use this right here. Probably not the correct tool to use for it, but it's okay. You can do whatever you want. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and just lift that part. There we go. You see how I just lifted the inside there? Okay, this actually works pretty good. Okay, so let's go ahead and take out that inside part that we don't need. You see how it's just one, and this is, so if this was something, you just put this right on your item that you need. How cool is that, okay? And then I'm just going to go ahead and just continue taking out the other little pieces, and then I'll be right back. Okie dokie, here she goes. What a pretty witch she is, huh? Okay, so let me get my little cover back on, my little paper piercer. Okay, let me put that back where it belongs. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I want to put it on here. I probably could have went with a smaller guy, but I think that'll look pretty. I'm going to put it on, this is just a little, some people call it a hurricane. I just call it a, a candle holder. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take this off. You see how it just peels off so perfectly? You don't have to use any transfer tape here. That's why I fell in love with this right away. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to kind of lay this down. Um, let me, oops, see, let me put this here. Okay, so now all I'm going to do is just... Hopefully you can see that well. I'm just going to put her somewhere here in the center. Now let me kind of go to the side here to make sure this goes on perfectly. And that's why I love about this because it is repositional. And I actually have, this is one little item I keep on my little coffee table. And if I want to take her off, I can. You know, put a Christmas tree, something of Christmas on here instead of Halloween. Oops, let me. Okay, has a little wrinkle at the bottom, but you know what? That's totally not bothering me. But look how pretty that is. And then, usually I put little rocks at the bottom. And then I could put my little orange candle in there. Perfect Halloween decor because I will be decorating for Halloween. I will be taking down all of my little bins, of my little Halloween bins I have in the garage, and this will be one of my items. Isn't this pretty? Super duper cute, easy. I love so tip of the day. Get that. Uh, it's called. It's from Wallies.com. I will have a link to it on my blog. Super duper quick vinyl to work with everybody. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'm glad you enjoyed my Monday tip of the day. And I will see you back here tomorrow for another fun Peachy Keen challenge. Okay, everybody? Bye bye. <laughs>